Welcome back, my friends. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a very popular effect called the pop out effect. And that's where an image uh, is in a photo, but parts of the image appear outside a photograph. And you can do this with uh, a picture frame or you can do it with an iPhone border, whatever you like. So let's get started. All right, so here's my workspace and I'm using an Instagram post workspace. I'm going to bring in a picture of my daughter and I'm going to edit the image and to remove the background. Um, so always try and get an image that kind of will stick out over a frame of some sort. Now you'll notice that the image, um, the background wasn't removed from the entire image. So I need to go in there with my brush and erase what the background remover did not erase. Now, if you don't have the pro version of Canva, you can remove the background using a program like remover.bg. Okay, so there we go. I removed the background and now I am going to select apply and I am going to just move this picture down a little bit um, out of the way. Uh, I'm not going to duplicate it just yet, um, but I'm going to press apply and I am now going to look for a picture of a forest because that's what I want to put behind my image. Now you can place any kind of a, of a photo behind your main subject, uh, but I'm going to search for a forest and I'm going to plop that behind the picture of my daughter. Um, so here we go. And now I'm just going to go into layers and try and bring the, the photo of my daughter in front of the forest. And I'm just trying to position things um, a little bit so that um, I have everything in the uh, photo that I, I want. Um, so I'm just positioning things a little bit right now. Now I'm going to look for a picture frame and you can use a picture frame or you can use a um, picture of a um, iPhone, the perimeter of an iPhone. And I'm just positioning the picture frame uh, in a uh, way that I can see the outer um, portions of the photo outside of the frame, like the arms and the elbows. I want those to um, protrude outside of the frame. So I'm just positioning it that way so that it'll look like a pop out. Now I've made a duplicate of the photo. So one, um, one of the images of my daughter is behind the frame and one of the images of my daughter is outside the frame. And now I'm just cropping all the elements, like the picture of the forest. I'm just cropping them to be behind the photo frame so that uh, you can't see the, the, the forest. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and group all those elements together because I want to move them together. So I'm just selecting all the layers and then I'm going to press group and then I'm going to try and rotate the, the picture a little bit. And I'm going to apply a uh, shadow effect to the photo. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to place a background. I'm not sure about this background, but I'm going to try it out and see how I like it. 
Now I'd also like to apply a shadow effect to the frame. So um, I might need to ungroup those elements to actually select the frame. And I'm going to go on to edit image and I'm going to use the shadow effect and the glow. And I'm going to increase the intensity of the, the glow. I'm going to select apply and there you go. So that's um, pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to add like a logo and my brand to that right now. Um, I'll also uh, put my daughter's handle in the bottom of the uh, photo frame. And um, if there's anything else that you'd like to see that I haven't done uh, already, um, and there's a lot that I haven't done, but if there's anything that you want to see, just place that in the comments. I'd be more than happy to try to replicate um, some of the effects uh, for you so that you can uh, learn how to do them. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that you can be the first to be notified when new content comes out. Now I'm just going to fix up her name, clicking on the text element, and I'm going to go up to the font and just make it a little bit larger. And I'm just going to update the background color because I don't really like that pink color. And I'm going to put uh, the Canva logo on it, and then I'll also put my brand uh, on it. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I look forward to showing you more interesting effects using Canva. Until next time, bye bye my friends.